Welcome back to Keith's FIFA 18 story. My name is Ricky. That's Keith over there. And today we're going to be playing Carlisle United in League 2 play. Uh, but first, just real quick, I played two other games. So we are currently top of the league. That's right. We are nine points. We have nine points. We're two points clear a second. We are well on our way to being promoted to League 1. That's right. League One, Lincoln City, and there's Keith Morgan right there. Um, so today I'm going to talk about why Keith decided to travel to England to play professional football instead of staying in the States. Last week, I believe I mentioned that um, Keith didn't get any offers in the States, which is kind of a lie. He actually got two offers. He got an offer from a team in the um, NASL, which is the North American Soccer League, which is essentially the second tier of um, football, of American, American soccer. Um, let me get out in front here. I'm open. Ah! That was brilliant. Other than my execution of it. That was a key pass, I hope. No, it wasn't a key pass. Never mind. Anyway, um, so uh, I'm not going to tell you which team it was. Because it doesn't matter that much. But the, the, the offer wasn't super serious. And he wasn't going to be starting or playing, even. He was going to be a reserve even below the substitutes, you know. The likelihood that he would even be on the bench for a team for in a game was going to be very, very slim. Well, he figured he could do a little bit better. Um, uh, so then he got an offer to play. Uh, for the Austin US USL team, United Soccer United Soccer League, I think it's United Soccer League team. Um, this was a much more serious offer. However, he decided to decline it and travel away from this country to another country. Uh, and this is mostly because of a girl. This girl didn't move to England. Get up, you coward! Thank you. Uh, <laughs> and so now I'm going to tell you a story a little bit about his first, the first game he played his freshman year at Incarnate Word. He came off the bench, um, but he actually scored the winning goal in his opening game. Uh, he came off the bench in the 68th minute, 69th minute, somewhere in there. I don't remember off the top of my head. Um. And, uh, yeah, they, uh, he, the first touch of the ball, he, ah, that was going to be brilliant. That was going to be brilliant. Uh, but yeah, with the first touch of his ball, he put it in the back of the net and they were drawn. It was nil, nil. And then it was one nil. And that was the final score. So obviously he was seen as a hero and he was invited to a party at a house right off of campus, which. Some of the houses near Incarnate Word, some of the some of the area near Incarnate Word is a bit. They're a bit. Um, yes, that's a goal. Hang on a second. That's an assist. That's an assist. Okay, that's important because I needed an assist. More than anything else, I needed an assist. Anyway. Uh, so some of the homes can, are, are, you know, okay sized. So they're, they're regular sized homes. And then a few homes are like massive, like eight, eight bedrooms across three stories, 14 different bathrooms for guests and whatnot, you know, massive, just crazy big house. And so, <laughs> and this house, um, belonged to some, the family of one of his teammates, who could have afforded to go to any school, but went to um, Incarnate Word because they offered them a place on his on their team. As just the same reason as Keith went there, basically, it's because they offered him a place on the team. Well, they offered Keith a scholarship. They didn't offer this guy a scholarship because he didn't need it. Anyway, 
I need to not be off sides. So he goes to this party. And he's super uncomfortable. He hates parties. I mean, who really likes parties? Let's be honest here. I mean, how many people really like? Oh, off the net. Of uh, the post. Oh, okay. I got this. This time. No. Okay. That Not this time. Never mind. Ignore that. I was offside. Okay. Well, that's half time. I'll tell you more about the party in the second half. We're just going to pass the ball. It's going to be brilliant passing. Get down there. Get down there. Get down there. Get down there. Yeah, that didn't work as well as I was hoping. I was wide open, but there's no way he could have gotten me the ball. Um, so he goes to this party, and he's just kind of wandering around. And then he sees this girl. He recognizes her. She's in his um, algebra class. An algebra class he didn't feel like he needed to take, but he did anyway. Uh, <laughs> the school said, you have to take algebra. Or you can test out of it, and he barely missed the testing cutoff. Anyway, it doesn't matter. And, of course, this is maybe the most attractive girl he has ever seen in his entire life. And, and, probably one of the smartest kids, aside from, um, I really should have passed it, huh? Okay, don't shoot when I'm standing right in front of you. What are you? Okay, did that go, did that touch his hand? Not me, though. Okay. I have been subbed out of a game before. Uh, apparently, that's a thing that happens in FIFA 18. It never happened in FIFA 14 unless I was hurt. Anyway, so he just kind of ignores her because he's a coward and won't talk to her. He's he's Okay, let's be honest. He's never really been good at talking to girls. Ever. It's just something that happens. So he didn't really talk to this girl. Except that this girl came up and talked to him. Wait, hang on, she says to him. Aren't you in my uh, algebra class? What? I yeah, I think yes. You that you you. I thought you looked a little familiar. He says, trying to play it cool. I mean, I'm pretty sure she saw right through that, but still. Ah, not that he can hold on to the ball, but. <laughs> so we're just gonna jog around here. I have a 6.6 .6 performance rating. That's not bad. Mm. So anyway, um, so he talks to this girl, but then it's revealed this girl has a boyfriend. Uh, fine, whatever. So they're friends or whatnot. They, they become friends, but it's, it's one of those like, I don't want to be friends with you because it, it's hard to be friends with you because I like you so much. But I'm going to try anyway because I'm a grown person who can actually be attempt to get over my feelings for this girl but unfortunately what happened was when they became friends and he got to know her he actually wound up falling in love with her because that's what happens well flash forward four years later final game of the season uh he plays he starts he's actually he actually comes off he scores a goal and comes off uh in the final couple of minutes because um well, he was tired, and it was his last game, and there were other players that needed to come on or whatever, so. Anyway, so he, uh. Uh, so he, um. Yeah, same house. Same party. Yeah! Go! Goal! Okay. Uh, same house, same party. He decides, screw it. I'm telling her how I feel. She's single. I probably should have mentioned that. That th she had broken up with her boyfriend earlier that year. But he didn't want to be the guy who, you know, he didn't want to be the rebound. So he decides he's going to tell her exactly how he feels. And he does. And she rejects him because she doesn't feel the same way. And, okay, fine. We'll move on. But that's part. That's pretty much the real reason why he wanted to go to another country was to get away from her. If he played for Austin, he might run into her. 
on the off chance they, you know, on the off chance he, uh, he, uh, you know, just ha he doesn't want to, he, he wants to guarantee he won't run into her, is what I'm saying. So, yeah. So that's why he really wanted to come into England, was because he wanted to, he wanted to avoid the girl. Which sounds kind of not great, I'll be honest with you. But, you know what? He's starting for the best team in League 2 right now. So what does it matter? He has an assist in this game. This has been Keith's FIFA 18 story. Thank you for watching. Come back soon for more FIFA 18.